in this session we will be discussing about the main organs or the principal organs of the United Nations. The United Nations mainly have six principal organs. They are General Assembly, Security Council, Economic and Social Council, then Trusteeship Council, International Court of Justice and the UN Secretariat. So basically the UN have six principal organs or main organs and the peculiarity of these six organs is that all of them were established in 1945 when the UN were founded. Now we will have a look at all the six main organs of the United Nations. First let us start with the General Assembly. The General Assembly basically it is the main policy making and representative organ of the United Nations and it has all the 193 UN member states as its members. So we say that the General Assembly of the United Nations have a universal representation. And another peculiarity of the or the importance of the UN General Assembly is that it has equal representation. Means all the members in the UN General Assembly has an equal status. Means every member has a single vote within the UN General Assembly. And uh, every year annually the UN General Assembly has the annual General Assembly session. And it, it is conducted in September in every year. And this will be a meeting between all of the UN member states and they will be meeting at uh, the General Assembly Hall in New York and as part of the annual General Assembly session there will be a general debate also and on that general debate many of the head of states and head of governments of various UN member states will be addressing the debate. Now in order to take important decisions within the UN General Assembly like uh, such as things related to peace and security issues or discussions related to adding a new member on the UN General Assembly you need 2 by 3 majority but in order to take normal decisions or not that much important decisions or other decisions you only need a simple majority within the UN General Assembly and every year annually the General Assembly will be electing a General Assembly President and he will be having a one year term then our next principal organ is the UN Security Council UN Security Council is one of the most powerful organs of the United Nations and the UN Security Council by the UN Charter, the primary responsibility of the UN Security Council is the maintenance of international peace and security. And the UN Security Council, it has 15 members, 5 permanent members and 10 non-permanent members. And all UN member states, they are obligated to comply with the decisions of the UN Security Council. And in case of any kind of international disputes, the UN Security Council can call upon both the parties of a dispute to settle it by using peaceful means or the UN Security Council can again negotiate the terms of settlement between these two disputed parties and in case of this dispute becoming a threat to international peace and stability and security the UN Security Council can even impose sanctions or it can even authorize the use of force against any party which threatens the international peace and security. So the UN Security Council has this kind of powers. And the presidency of the UN Security Council is rotated among its members in every month. Then we have the United Nations Economic and Social Council. Basically, this is the principal body of the United Nations for coordination, policy review, as well as policy dialogue and recommendations on basically on three major issues. On economic, social and environmental issues. So remember this point, basically the UN Economic and Social Council is all about discussions and other recommendations and coordination when it comes to three issues, three major kinds of issues, economic, social and environmental issues and whenever the UN system or in general when the UN specialized agencies are dealing with these three topics, economic, social or environmental issues, they will be coordinated by the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. That is the role of it. And the Economic and Social Council, it has 54 members which are elected from the UN General Assembly or elected by the UN General Assembly for a three-year term. And recently, why the Economic and Social Council was frequently in news was due to the fact that uh, India is currently a member of the Economic and Social Council, but its membership is set to expire on December 31, 2017. But recently, on June 2017, there was an election to the Economic and Social Council and India was again re-elected for the next three years as a member of the Economic and Social Council. That is why it was frequently in news. And another major aim of the Economic and Social Council 
is to contribute in the implementation of sustainable development goals as well as other internationally accepted or agreed development goals. Now an organ or a principal organ of the United Nations we don't hear much in the news is the Trusteeship Council. The Trusteeship Council again it is a main organ of the United Nations. It was established in 1945 by the UN Charter. Now the role of this Trusteeship Council was to provide international supervision for 11 trust territories. So these 11 trust territories were territories which were placed under the administration of 7 member states. And the role of the trusteeship council basically was to prepare these territories for self-government as well as independence. So that was the role of the trusteeship council of the United Nations. Now later what happened was that by 1994 all these trust territories had attained self-government or independence. Means by 1994 most of these trust territories they either became independent states or they had joined neighboring countries. So that is why by 1994 this trusteeship council went into a dormant mode and right now this, the trusteeship council has suspended its operation on 1st November 1994. In the future this trusteeship council will be meeting again if the need arises. So right now it is sort of a dormant body. Now our fifth main organ of the United Nations and one of the most important organ of the United Nations when it comes to especially from the prelims point of view is the International Court of Justice. And uh, when it comes to the International Court of Justice, the things to note down are, is basically facts like, uh, it is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. So that is the most important fact about ICJ. ICJ is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations and its headquarters is located or it is situated at Peace Palace in The Hague. And why this headquarters of this ICJ is very, very important. It is the only one of the six principal organs of the United Nations which is not located in New York, United States of America. See all other five of the main organs of the United Nations is located at New York in United States of America. International Court of Justice is the only main organ of the United Nations whose headquarters is not situated on New York in United States of America. Then the role of the International Court of Justice is basically to settle legal disputes submitted to it by states or sometimes the International Court of Justice it also gives advisory opinions on legal questions referred to it by the authorized UN organs as well as the various specialized agencies of the United Nations. So that is again is another role of the International Court of Justice. So basically it settles legal disputes submitted to it by states and in addition to that it gives advisory opinions on legal matters or questions referred to it by various organs of the United Nations or various specialized agencies of the United Nations. Then we have the United Nations Secretariat. Now the UN Secretariat basically it consists of the Secretary General and the international UN staff members who carry out the day-to-day -day activities of the United Nations. And uh, with respect to the UN Secretariat, one thing to note down is that the UN Secretariat, the works of the UN Secretariat is basically mandated by the General Assembly and other principal organs of the United Nations. These UN staff members, they are recruited internationally as well as locally and they work in duty stations as well as peace missions on various parts of the world. So that's all about the UN Secretariat. We have already discussed about the UN Secretary General in a detailed manner when we discussed the earlier video on United Nations. Now let us discuss a model question on the principal organs of the United Nations. So the question is with reference to United Nations Economic and Social Council or ECOSOC consider, in the, consider the following statements. So we have a two statement question. The first statement is all 193 members of the United Nations are represented in the Economic and Social Council. So right now we just have studied that Economic and Social Council only have 54 members who are elected by the UN General Assembly. So this first statement is obviously wrong. Then our second statement is that it is the United Nations central platform for reflection, debate and innovative thinking on sustainable development. So that is obviously true. Having discussions as well as coordination on the implementation of internationally accepted development goals as well as sustainable development is a key agenda of the United Nations Economic and Social Council. So that second statement is true. So our answer is option B, two only. So that's all about uh, the six principal organs or main organs of the United Nations. 
I hope you have got an idea about these organs from the prelims point of view. And now in order to get a general idea about the United Nations, you can watch our previous video on the United Nations. And in order to get an idea about uh, UNESCO, a specialized agency of the United Nations, you can watch that video also by New AS. Mm -hmm.